Hello guys, Sanjay here and as you can see I have the LE TV 11s over here with me and in this video I am going to show you guys AOSP ROM for the L1s. I did the same for the Redmi Note 3 and many of you guys were asking to uh, do a video on AOSP ROM for the LE TV 11s. So let's go into settings and in the about phone you can see that the, this is the AOSP Pure Lite version 2 ROM and this ROM will get updated so all the links for that will be in the description box below if you want to flash the updated ROM then check out the XDA thread where there will be updated links coming real soon and it is based on Android version 5.0.2 and not 6.0 because the stock ROM that is EUI that we have for the LETV is not based on uh, Marshmallow yet so that is why we have Lollipop over here but mm, no problem because we have AOSP ROM which is very much stable in my opinion and before you guys ask, fingerprint sensor is not working as of now and this is the version 2 as I said and on the version 2 fingerprint sensor is not working if the fingerprint sensor is working I'll mention that in the title and in the description box below also but everything else like camera is working super fine without any issues so let's click a picture of this so as you can see it can focus it can take photos it can take videos also by the way uh, so photos and videos can be taken uh, this is the video this is the photo which looks pretty good uh, not bad at all and this is one of the front facing selfies that I took and selfies are also pretty decent no problem over here also and we have a custom launcher that is Nova launcher over here which is pre-installed you don't have to do anything and if you do not insert a sim card then you will get this irritating uh, message over here which you cannot remove actually but that's quite okay you will insert the sim card into this phone i inserted but i removed the sim card after some time there are tons of features which are available for this rom and i'll talk about some features over here so let's go into display then clear motion and as you can see clear motion is not enabled as of now and you can see the clear motion thing or the return thing or this image is looking a little blurry because uh, it is not working in 60 fps but if we enable this then it looks really smooth and there are no jitters which are present over here so if you enable clear motion this thing will happen Helio X10 processor is capable of doing this but many times OEMs disable this this was the case with uh, Redmi Note 2 also where clear motion or Mira Vision was disabled by default then we have Mira Vision also in which you can change the picture mode like you can change everything how the display looks uh, I prefer this one then you can enable dynamic contrast so the image is like this right now but if I enable dynamic contrast it will look a little bit more like contrasty image and obviously you can customize this according to your preference which is a very nice thing if you like contrasty things then you can go ahead and do that then there are MHL settings which are also present so that's a nice thing it is not present uh, by default on the EUI and if we go into this uh, engineering mode you can select connectivity Bluetooth these are some of the tests which you can take to see if everything is working or not then we have this DPI calibration so currently it is set to 220 dpi but if you want to increase the dpi to 400 dpi let's assume then you can do that from here uh, so let's assume you put 420 dpi and once you hit apply the device will reboot and 420 dpi will be applied but i do not want to apply it over here because the device will reboot then we have battery calibration uh, grant the root permission and yes the rom is pre-rooted so you do not have to flash super sc or something like that to calibrate the battery you can follow these steps only four steps are over there and uh, that's pretty much it then cpu spy where you can see what was the frequency which is used by your device so 215 megahertz that is 2.1 gigahertz frequency is used only 0.1 percent of the times and 806 megahertz is used 7.9 percent of the times which is a good thing because uh, then your device will last longer if it is using lower clock frequency and the device is in deep sleep mode for 90% of the time then we have root explorer inbuilt we don't have to even install uh, ES file explorer or something like that 
then exposed modules are also present which are inbuilt you do not have to flash exposed installer also two modules are pre-installed on this that is amplify and flash style bar indicators and guys if you want to flash this rom then uh, you need to boot into twrp recovery for that switch off your device and after that hold the volume up button and power button together so that the device will boot into the twrp recovery So once the device boots into TWRP recovery, go ahead into backup and swipe to backup so that uh, if anything goes wrong, you can simply restore this backup and you'll be back on the stock ROM. So don't forget to backup the ROM before you flash the ROM. After the backup is done, go into wipe and select swipe to factory reset. This will wipe apps, data of apps and this will not wipe your internal storage or music or something like that. It will just wipe app and data of the apps. Then go back, go back once again, go back, go back. Select install and now select the AOSP ROM which will be linked in the description box below. Select the AOSP ROM and just select swipe to install over here. This will install the AOSP ROM on this device. So after the ROM is installed, go back and select install over here. And once the installation of gaps is also completed, go back, go back, select restart, select system. And after this, now the device will boot into the AOSP ROM uh, as it is supposed to. So yeah, this was pretty much it for the ROM and uh, I have connected to a 5 GHz band which is working perfectly fine. So everything is working basically, only the thing which is not working is fingerprint sensor. Battery life on the AOSP ROM is also pretty good. I was using the ROM for, uh, I, it's been a week that I have flashed this ROM. Battery life has been very good in my opinion. So 85% of the battery is present. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach triple five likes on this video. So don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos on the LED VL1S, then those will be linked in the description box below or you can simply click on the IO button over here. From here, you can see all my videos on the LED VL1S and don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys because many more videos on the LED1S are going to come real soon. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.